All right, David, I know it's a little cooler out there tonight and looks like you're tracking some showers as well. Yeah, that's for sure, Zach. Some showers tomorrow. Uh, we do need the rain. There's no doubt about that. And we will be seeing a little bit of that tomorrow. And you could see a couple of rumbles of thunder as well to go along with it. I think most of the day is dry for much of the state. But we will be tracking showers as we go through the course of the day. Right now, current temps are mostly in the 40s across the state, a little bit milder across northern portions of the state. That's what we saw 70 degree readings today. But we're at 49 degrees, uh, 48 degrees in Portland, 45 in Wiscasset. It's 56 in Caribou, Bangor at 48 degrees. It's cool, uh, but not too bad. 49 degrees in Freiburg. And that's how the temperatures are looking right now. And wind direction is out of the southeast, bringing some cooler temperatures as we saw along the immediate coastline. And we'll probably see a similar situation tomorrow as winds continue to come off the ocean. Uh, inland locations, that's where we'll see the warmest temperatures and closer to that cold front as it starts to move through uh, with cloud cover, we'll deal with some more uh, temperatures, just a little bit cooler than the rest of the state. So we have a cold front moving through southern portions of Canada, and that's going to enter northern Maine as we go through late tonight, early tomorrow morning. That's where we'll see clouds continuing to increase as we go through the overnight hours. And we are seeing a few clouds across northern portions of the state, but the rest of the state, mostly clear skies, but those clouds will be increasing as we head into early tomorrow morning. So overnight tonight, temperatures dropping mostly into the lower to mid 40s. So it'll be a cool night, cool start to the day tomorrow. It'll be in the lower 50s as you head out tomorrow morning, Portland over to Wiscasset, upper 40s up towards Bangor. Those showers are knocking on the door across northern Maine. And as we go through the morning hours, We'll start to see those showers increasing. We'll see some moderate bursts of shower activity across northern portions of the state. That's depicted in the yellow colors, even across northern portions of New Hampshire. And by the mid-afternoon, those showers start to encroach into Augusta up towards just west, uh, just west of Millinocket into northern portions of the state. So I think most of the afternoon along the coastline will be spared by showers, but then by the evening hours, Portland gets into the act as well as Sanford over to Freiburg. Midcoast still seeing some rain showers, but down east, the further east you go, the less shower activity you get. But then by tomorrow night at this time, you'll start to see more in the way of showers. And you could have a couple of rumbles of thunder, and those showers continue to linger right into Thursday morning across northern portions of the state. I think that'll be the toughest place to clear, but southern portions of the state will see clearing skies. But it will be cooler on Thursday, that's for sure. Even a gusty northwest wind we'll be dealing with through the course of the day. So you definitely need a light jacket as you're going through the day with temperatures mostly in the 50s. But high pressure shifts towards the east. Friday, we see temperatures tick up just a little bit in the afternoon. But you know what? I'm going to tell you a, a little bit about the weekend right now. It's looking pretty dry. We were concerned about a storm that was south of New England. But I think for the most part, that's going to stay to the south and keep us dry. So the holiday weekend is looking fantastic. In terms of temperatures tomorrow, again, we have those showers increasing across northern portions of the state in the morning, mid-afternoon, middle portions of the state, and then southern portions of the state by the evening hours. Temperatures 60s from Bangor right over to Lewiston, inland locations up towards Freiburg, could see the lower 60s, mostly in the 60s, North Caribou about 59 degrees, 58 in Portland with that southeast wind. As far as the ocean goes tomorrow, the seas will be about two to three feet. We'll see 10 to 15 knot winds out of the south, gusting up to 25 miles per hour, and the ocean temperatures still pretty cool around 50 degrees. In the seven day forecast, everybody has their eyes on the Memorial Day weekend. Right now, it looks fantastic. I think we keep those showers south, keeping those fingers crossed as we go into the weekend. But Sunday looks like we should be seeing the lower 80s, mostly in the 70s the whole entire weekend with partly cloudy skies. And even along the coastline, just a tad cooler, we may be dealing with some sea breezes, but still kicking off the unofficial start of the summer season. It's looking pretty good from this angle, Zach. How's yeah, really looking forward things looking to over it. there. <laughs> Thanks, David. Appreciate it.